Alright, here it is. Finally, the, the long waited, many times promised, and now finally here, new redone tutorial on how to do a steam turbine using the big reactors mod on Minecraft version 1.7.10. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I actually have <laughs> a Mario mod installed as well that I've, oops, that I've been messing with recently. It's kind of cool. It's been a while since I've actually played. So what we're going to do, as you can see, these turbines don't quite look the same. Um... Now, first of all, I want to just throw a little bit of detail out there that you don't have to do with do this with the turbine housing on the you know in the middle section here. If you want to, you can do the um, the glass. Um, However, I discovered that, well, actually a friend of mine that was playing on my server discovered that these, the animation, when it's visible, and it actually has to generate the animation, it does cause, um, lag, because, you know, Java for the win, not. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah, and... moving around it's um it's been a while since i played minecraft i'm a little rusty on the controls but hey anyways so here it is this is this is what it looks like on the inside now and it is a different colored block that we're using so all right let me start getting these parts because i'm gonna actually go ahead I mean, yeah, probably you can, like, see from here, yada, yada, yada. But, I mean, I'm... I'm actually gonna, like, show you how to do it. Just because... Um... That's what my original video was, and that's what I wanna do with this one. Okay, so, here we go. Got all our parts. Um, there is one difference. Like I said, we got the Ludicrite block now, instead of... Oh goodness, it's been so long, I don't even remember what was using before. But, anyways, we're going to start with the turbine housing. And do a 5x5 five five square as a base. And then you want to, obviously, fill it in. Um... And then what you can do, um, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Okay. So what you can do then, if you so chose, is forget the number because you are distracted so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight okay twenty eight tall bottom so that's one so yeah two three four five S 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28. Boom. And then you just want to do that with all, all four corners. Like so. Okay, so now the next thing you want to go ahead and do um, is bust out the ludicrate blocks, and you're gonna do a three by three by four. So it's gonna you're gonna fill this hole inside. Oops. Um, doing it like that, leaving a hole in the center for the rotor shaft to go through, and you're gonna do this four blocks high. Um, although you may want to take and do that part first before you get all these up, just so you can make sure you can actually reach all the way down to the bottom. And then, as the rest, as you can see, you're gonna wanna take and put the rotor shaft the rest of the, all the way up um, just for my own sake of this being a little easier to keep track of I am going to do that because this end you do want you do want the bearing on um, so yeah fun fun under the sun yeah okay cheesy joke but I had to do it, because it was obvious. I am really sorry about the Mario noises. I'm just too lazy to disable them right now. Oops. See, I'm, I'm rusty. I haven't played this in a while. And I've forgotten... I don't have the muscle memory for the timing anymore. boom there's all that now the next thing you're gonna want to go ahead and do is on the front you want to put a controller and the power output and then on the back you want to put probably a couple of fluid ports depending upon I don't I'm still not I'm, I'm still kind of like fuzzy and figuring out the whole steam input and travel rates and you know flow rate capacities and all that. Um, but in my newbishness, I've just got like a bunch, as you can see right there. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take and assuming I can figure out how, uh, which I think this is just there's a wrench for it. I don't remember which one it is, but get to that in a moment. Um, like I did with those, I actually have um, 
this one is an this one is an output so that the steam cools it turns back into water it comes out and goes back into my water tank um, these this this system aside from requiring gasoline and of course it's not even running right now but aside from requiring gasoline right now to run these boilers the system is completely self-dependent um, at least as far as the water goes because the, the turbines obviously they take in steam the steam cools turns back into water it comes back out goes into a water tank that feeds the boilers the water it's a water loop it's a custom water loop ah! anyways uh, that was absolute absolute nerd moment don't mind me so then now that you have all those want to take and fill this in. Um, fill in the rest of these sides. You can do it with the turbine glass if you so choose. I recommend against it because the animation does cause lag. At least if uh, like you're playing with friends and they're not on your same network. If you're like hosting a, an actual server that you know, you have friends play with from across the country or whatever. Across the world, even. They, uh... Apparently it's a lag. It creates a lag issue. So, I'm doing it with the housings so that it's not transparent. You can't see the, you know, the, the animation doesn't happen. It just does its thing without any extra fanciness. Yeah, this part of the video is kind of boring, I won't lie. I may cut most of this out because, well, you know, hey, well, why did I do that? <laughs> Talking about how I'm going to cut out part of this part of the video because this part's long and boring and I do something that makes it worth keeping it in. I pull an absolute stupid moment. Almost done. And as you can see, like once I put that last block in, it, the whole appearance changed. Turned into like looking like one whole complete structure instead of a bunch of accumulated blocks. That means that everything was done right. It is, in fact, it is all ready to go. I just have to hook steam to it so that it's got got some steam coming in, and away it's gonna go. Um, sadly, I have. My, my boilers are being stupid because, well, I've been not really that much into this lately. But let's see, we, we need a wrench. Oops, and I just made a typo. Okay, so I think the Buildcraft wrench is the one I want to use. Booyah. Alright, it's the Buildcraft wrench you want to use. <coughs> and booyah. There you go. Then all you gotta do is hook a steam feed to the red ports. You may only need to do one, you may need to do 20. I don't know, I've got five. And then an output to recycle water back down to the water tank. Yeah, and that's the one. And these ones, they, oh, they put out a lot more power than the ones in my uh, 
original video did. So that's how you make a badass steam turbine on uh, with with the big reactors mod. Booyah! All right, I'm out. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Um, there's I'm I'm always doing something. Always got something going on in my head of what I want to do. Feel free to pitch some actual ideas. Um, I will throw the link for the original video down in the description. Uh, down there. Down in the description. Look down. Um, then you can, you, you'll, if you haven't already seen it, and you go watch it, you'll, you'll see why. Um, I felt the need to make a new one. Um, it wasn't just for the doing the new turbines, the, the the redesign, the different version, the more powerful ones. Um, it was the microphone I used in the original video was was horrible, and yeah. So if you want, go feel free to go check that video out. Um, like I said, I'll put the link in the down in the description, and yeah. Um, but yeah, honestly though, feel free to leave comments if there is something you would like to actually see a video tutorial on that you can't find. Throw it down in the comments. I'll I'll check them out. I'll I'll figure out how to do it if I don't already know, and I'll do up a, a video. Uh, but yeah, all right. So until next time. <laughs>